About time I got around to installing these. Let's get this going. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this upgrade. Um, we're going to get this Thermal Grizzly contact frame out. And I really like this design. It, it has a gasket that seals around the edges of the, of the CPU. And then you get even clamping force. But you also can keep the thermal paste or any of the material away from the um, bottom of the CPU. So you first got to get this bracket out of here. So there's four bolts. Take the unlatch it and take your four bolts out. Now when you do this, it will drop the back plate um, that's cinching the two pieces on between the PCB together. <clears throat> if you look, I've already got the Optimus, um, the Optimus block uh, mounting mechanism installed. And that's important because I used those four posts to pull up and to allow me to um, get to the threads and mount this contact frame to the board and cinch these two pieces together. So you can see I'm putting that gasket into place and then setting the, the contact frame down on. Now I moved that back and forth and I played with it a little bit. I mean, it really only goes one way and it, it really is a, kind of a tight fit, but it does allow you to um, get good cinching force on this CPU. So you're just going to crisscross pattern and you try to um, get them tight. Now I did use the tool that comes with the package because I'm trying not to over tighten these things. I have a tendency to over torque. <laughs> I follow the torque specs anytime in an automotive application, but I'm just using the tools that come with here because I'm trying to be cautious, but I want good force and good contact. So once you get this cinched down, then you can add your thermal paste. And it did come with, uh, the Optimus block comes with thermal paste and it's a good quality paste. But I've always used Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut in my Keep It Cool series. And that applicator allows it to spread evenly and smoothly. But this Duranaut product clumps. You see it sticking to the side of the applicator. <clears throat> it doesn't really spread well at all. And so it's kind of a pointless tool. Just squeeze some in the middle of the CPU and then you need to work it with this next this spatula and you need to use a little bit of pressure and it starts smoothing out over time as you knead it and work the product and heat it up a little bit, honestly. It starts to become uh, more user friendly and I can try to get a decent amount completely covering the CPU but it took me a lot of time, much more than I'm used to using for applicate, for applying thermal paste. But then I cleaned up the uh, copper cold plate there and sort of got it wiggled into place to make sure I had good contact with the paste and the CPU and then used their mounting solution. It's a unique design. It's very clean, very professional looking. Those uh, screws recess down into the block and then they give you your own um, tool to tighten it up with. So once <clears throat> you get all of them started, then you can take a, a, a turn, a turn and a half until you get hand tight and get good mounting pressure evenly across this block. And once you do, you just keep going until you get it as tight as you can by hand evenly as possible and then wipe it down, clean it up, get all the fingerprints and stuff off of it. And if you believe that's a that's considered a second, that's a beautiful block. It works really well um, even before I made this change. But after playing with it, I was able to turn on PBO. Um, I got a little bit better cooling out of the, and a little bit better performance out of the block. And it uh, it may allow me to make some a little bit more speed out of this thing than uh, that I've been able to have in previous testing. So. At least this is a good example of how to install this product. Hope you found it useful. Stay safe. God bless.